Welcome back everyone. This is Ultra Lavos playing The Legend of Zelda. We're starting the second quest. Please let the sword be in here. It is. They put the sword in the same place. Unlike some ROM hacks that like to stick the sword in the middle of a dungeon somewhere that you have to find. Which is actually pretty cool. Um, I don't know if you all have ever checked out any uh, ROM hacks of this game, but the ones I've seen are fun. The ones that I've played. And if you all uh, actually want to see me playing any, just go ahead and request it, and uh, I may get around to it. I do enjoy playing them. So just, yeah, let me know in the comments. Anyways, this is the second quest, so so far things look like everything's the same. You're probably wondering why I'm going up here to get the red ring, or the blue ring, when I have no money. Well, that's because this is not the shop. This is level two. Yeah, the dungeons are in different spots. And as you see by the enemies here, we didn't face Gibdos until level five in the first quest. Now they're already in level two, and with this wooden sword, man, they take a lot of hits. So we're gonna get that white sword as soon as possible. But there's an item I wanna get from here. I'm just basically coming in here, getting the item, and running off. There may be deaths. It's possible. We're going on a fetch quest. Why? Why not? It's fun. We're going to be doing things a little out of order, a little unorthodox. But it's all good. Let's hope these mummies give us some dang bombs. None so far. Come on, give me some lucky drops. And if they hit you, that's two health taken away. Uh, without the blue ring. So unfortunately we did not get a bomb. We can bomb that wall to the right to get a key. And there's this dude that we're not even going to try to fight without a bomb and one and a half hearts because he will kill us. Now these guys can drop a bomb, and let's hope that they do. It would make my life a lot easier right now. Woo! Ah! Well, there we go, a bomb. I'm not gonna try to take on the manhandle it. I'm gonna attempt to get this map up here. And I will die. That's fine though. I'll meet you back at the room with the bats where I was gonna bomb. All right, here we are in the room with the bats. key. As you see, that's the only way we can go in here to get the key. And you heard the boss sound, so the boss must be near that room. Alright, let's see if we can do this. Oh yeah, that was beautifully done. <coughs> and some more bombs. The eighth enemy, or the tenth enemy, did in fact have the bomb. And there's the map. The layout, as you could tell, is different. This is in the shape of an A. And here's something else new to the second quest. If you press against walls, there's some that you can just walk through. That's pretty cool. And we have the whistle here already in level two. A little earlier than in the first quest where it's in five. And this thing's going to be pretty useful in the second quest for a few different things. None of which is going to level 7. Now I left just one alive this time when I came back, so it would be easier. 
just in case I died again. Which luckily I didn't. And I just ran right into that. Yeah, it's gonna be a little easier with the light sword. Out of my way. Now, there's where we've went on the map. We're gonna get the right half of this dungeon when we come back, but for now, that's all. So let's get out of here. We've got the whistle. There's a fairy close by. We don't have any way to burn trees yet, nor do we have near enough money to buy a candle. Buy a candle. 60 gold wasted. Or rupees. Why do I call it gold? So yeah, up here is uh, level 7, right? We got the whistle. Nothing happens. Apparently there is not secrets where fairies don't live. Well, there still kind of is. Okay, now we're at the Lost Woods. We already know from the first quest how to get through here. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. And I hope that the Lionels don't hit us, because they pack a wallop. I think it's two health points as well, like the mummies. So we're going to head up here. And look at this, a heart container hidden in the graveyard. That's pretty sweet. And then if we come down one screen... You can actually blow your whistle to get staircases to appear, and not just in dried up lakes. Now we gotta make our way through here. Now this is level 6, this is lots of ghosts. Level 6 is just bad regardless. Ouch, I wish I wouldn't have got hit. We're just coming here for one item. If I don't run into things like that, let's try that again, shall we? So it's going to take two hits to kill us in here, because they're going to take two health and we have three. And I, I don't know why I did that. I know that the blue ones can come into the doorway and give you a hug, so... It's not very far we have to go, and once we get through these first couple of rooms it's not too bad. We can't see the... A Ah! <laughs> well, we made it through that part. Now we just gotta make it through this room. Oh no. Oh no. And we even get a five rupee here for our effort. And have you noticed that any of these rooms where we have to move a block, it's always the f leftmost block in the center row? That's strange, isn't it? I really don't want to die to a bat at this point. That would just be embarrassing. But I will die to one now. Just to get to the entrance and get three health. So now we have the step ladder, which is in level six, which is a little later than the first quest. Alright, let's continue. Now while we're over here, there's a couple other places I want to go. Ghost is gonna take forever to die. 
Now up there is uh, not level six. It looks like it, but it's uh, one of those, it's a secret to everyone things. Really don't want to waste bombs on these guys, but they don't want to cooperate. There we go. Um, I guess I'll go up there now that I've taken care of these enemies. Get out of my way. We get 30. Yeah, if you leave all those enemies alive, sometimes coming down this ladder can be a pain. Whoa. For some reason, this Lionel's not even here. That's weird. So this area is the same, and since the power bracelet just appears like right here underneath this guy, oh no, don't die. That's pretty much the same too. Oh man, I don't want to go over there just yet. Whew. Okay, we're going to head up here. Now this is going to be one of the trickier parts. Okay, first let's get the whistle. Whew! Damn it! It's alright, we're not too far. I really want that heart container. If there's another one nearby we can get though. Then we're going to go get our white sword. So I have really no set uh, method of how I'm doing all of this, but I've got a general idea of how I want to do all this. And step one, getting the whistle. Step two, getting that step ladder. Grabbing hearts along the way. Which there is one, it's either here or one screen down. One screen down. Don't want to accidentally, there's actually places with the whistle you can blow that will be, pay me for the door repair as well, so trying to avoid those. Okay, let's just go grab another heart while we're at it. There is not a heart there, however. Don't have the raft yet. But we do have the step ladder. Wow. Alright, now we've got that. I guess we'll go to level one. a little bit of backtracking but not too bad oh a fairy come here fairy thank you really just a uh, couple more things we're gonna do I guess we could grab the white sword and then go to level one. Which is what we probably should do. I'm only going to level one for a boomerang for now.
This will make things so much easier. And once we get the blue ring, it'll help too. We got a little ways to go on that. Whoops. Ooh. Barely dodging those swords, Link. Uh, the lady in the waterfall tells you the same thing. Go up and up the mountain ahead. Although level 5 is not there anymore, now it's just a fairy. And I'm gonna try to get this hard. Since I'm right here. take the potion. Have you all ever taken the potion? Like, I don't even think I accidentally ever took the potion. Well, that's where level 9 was. Oh, oh man, this is not where I wanted to go. Yeah. Heading to level one. Luckily, it's really close to the start. It is actually in the same place, so if you attempt to go to level one, you'll be like, oh, here's level one. But it's different. See, there's not a locked door up at the top. You can only go right, not left. And that's the boomerang. Alright. Well, that's all we're going to be doing now. We do have the power bracelet, so we can't move around places. Whoops. Do we want to go ahead and beat level one? Do we? Alright. We'll beat level one. Next video, though. We'll beat level one and then gather some more stuff. This has been Ultralavos playing The Legend of Zelda. See you all next video.